Hello, all you herb lovers out there. I'm back. <laughs> Tonight, I'm going to talk about chrysanthemums, or mums. A lot of people refer to them as mums. They are chrysanthemums. Their origin are Chinese. They come from China or Asia. Now, I was rather... Uh, I bought this mainly because it was something I just didn't have in my collection of herbs. And I figured, what the heck, I'll get some chrysanthemums. Why not? Never had them before. Now, the thing I want to uh, talk about with chrysanthemums is, number one, it is a flower. And it is a fall flower, perennium. So uh, it comes in the fall. The Chinese refer to this as a hardy plant or a hardy flower. Um, it represents duration because it is so doggone hardy. It represents long life for the same reason. And uh, I'm going to turn back because I wrote this down in another area of my herb book. Also, the thing to remember about a chrysanthemum that I found really quite fascinating is chrysanthemums, the whole plant can be eaten. It can't. The uh, leaves are considered like greens. Okay, um, which means they're going to be high in vitamin K and they're going to be high in iron. And you can find chrysanthemum leaves in your farmer's market. Usually, not always, but a mini local farmer's market sells chrysanthemum seeds. I mean, chrysanthemum greens right alongside your collard greens or your turnip greens. So if you do decide to grow chrysanthemums yourself, remember the leaves can be eaten as a green, and the flowers can be used as a tea. Now, all that being said, um, the Chinese have a word for chrysanthemum, and the word is jia, J-U, jia. It means long life, duration, because the flower is so enduring, which is one of the reasons why I got that name. I want to... See if I can get to my other page to tell you more about it. Here we go. Um, uh, one other thing to know, even though uh, chrysanthemums are higher in iron and uh, vitamin K, we can use them as a tea. We can use them as greens. They are toxic to cats. So please do not give this to your cat. It is not good for the cat. <laughs> um, also know that it uh, it's also close to the lunar month, the ninth lunar month, okay? It's also when you are supposed to harvest the plant in the ninth lunar month. So that would mean last month, we should have harvested our chrysanthemums. There you are. Now, is there anything else I would like to tell you about chrysanthemums? Yes, it is. The magical use for chrysanthemum. The magical use for chrysanthemums is for protection. Okay, the, the teas... If you were to make chrysanthemum into a tea, it is to protect against evil spirits. Okay? Now, I find it interesting in my magical mind that in the mundane, the Chinese view it as long life and duration. I think that if I were to use chrysanthemum, I would use it in that aspect as well for duration. Let's say I wanted to give a... Uh, a satchel to a couple that just got married and I wanted to wish them love so I would put maybe some roses in a satchel for them for love and uh, you know protection of course and that could be a mugwort for protection um, and maybe some sage for protection but also I think I would add chrysanthemum even though its symbolism magically is supposed to be protection I like the idea of endurance for chrysanthemum because the idea that this will keep a marriage enduring. Okay, so that's a great idea. If you're making a love satchel, endure, you know, endurance. Or if someone you know is probably having to go through a trial and tribulations and they have to endure it, chrysanthemum is something that you could probably add to a candle in order for them to have the ability to endure any trials or tribulations they're going through. It's a great idea. But that's the Chinese consideration. But I like to go with theirs because the flower originates in China. So to me, they had dibs on it before I did. You know, there you go. Now, is there anything else I want to add for chrysanthemum? Yes, there is. First of all, 
it is uh, the aspect is male. Okay, it's planetary is the sun. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. No, I did. The planetary is the sun, and this element is fire. So that's male aspect, planetary the sun, and uh, its element the fire. So I'm going to conclude this with chrysanthemum. Every part of it is edible. High in vitamin uh, K, high in iron. So get some today at your local farmer market. Oh boy, that even scares me. Have a good evening, guys. Peace out. Blessed be.